Welcome to my video on college fragrances. And now, you know, if you're looking for fragrances for college, there's a few things to keep in mind. Like, college students are outside of high school, but they're not completely in the real world. And, you know, as people get older, they like spice a lot. But, you know, at the college age, you want hip fragrances. They're going to be kind of youthful, but they're going to get you compliments and really get you smelling very good. So, you know, a few scents that come to mind would be Diesel Fuel for Life. Only the Brave. You know, they kind of have that freshness going, but they actually have a really nice smell. I mean, they're a little bit sweet, so that may be an issue with some people, but they do smell good to a lot. And they are very popular. And another one is Black Excess by Paco Rabanne. Now that one, it's a little bit spicy, and it kind of has some sweetness to it. And then you have some ebony wood and some praline, so it's more of a gourmandish fragrance. But it has lots of appeal. It's kind of a bad boy scent. I would definitely recommend that one if, for a younger person. But, you know, if you're looking for some really nice budget stuff, too, like the Thalliums really are nice. They're kind of fresh. They're very reasonably priced. They're not that expensive at all, but they do have a really nice smell to them. And, you know, they will get compliments. But now if you're looking for a nice scent, like to impress somebody or for a date, Body Quaros is the way to go. I mean, you get kind of maybe a little bit of a vanillic vibe, but it's a very deep kind of macho scent. Great smell, very popular with a lot of people. And also, another one that's really good is Fierce by Abercrombie & Fitch. Now, you probably have heard of this one, but it has mad appeal. I mean, if you wear that to a party, some people will run up to smell you. I mean, it is that good to a lot of people. I mean, that's one of the few scents that all these women seem to love. And another one is like Cool Water, Cool Water Game, Cool Water Frozen. You know, the Cool Waters are good fresh fragrances that you could wear during the day. Wear, you know, in hot weather. They definitely do a good job. You know, Michael Jordan is pretty decent for a sporty scent. You know, you could wear it during the day going to class. But, you know, when we're now, when we talk about the college setting, it's important. Like, if you go into class, go into a party, go in on a date, or intimate occasions all call for different fragrances. Like, you go into class, you may be in close quarters with people. And so you probably want a scent that's a little bit lighter. And, like, you know, if you're going out there wearing 10 sprays of 1 million going to class, people might sit across the room on the other side. Whereas, you know, you want to put maybe one or two sprays and have more of a sporty scent during the day. And, you know, at a party, on the other hand, you want a little bit of silage so people can smell you as you come into the room. So, one million's a really good party scent. Thierry Mugle Pure Mouth. You know, if you like the chocolate and the sweet scents, Amen and Jean-Paul Gaultier are good. You know, Le Malle has kind of a candied, minty vibe to it, and... Amen has kind of a patchouli chocolate. You know, and there's also Animale Animale, which is also kind of like Amen. You know, they both have that chocolate thing going, but they do have good smells. And, you know, One Million has kind of a candied cinnamon with some fruit. So, you know, the sweet scents are definitely good at a party setting. I would definitely, if I was going to a party, I'd probably wear Jupe or Le Malle. Those are usually the one scent that I wear going out and you know if you're going to intimates now that is where it gets kind of complicated in my opinion if you're going to be intimate find what the girl likes to smell on you and that's what you wear hanging out with them or going on a date you know you don't want to just throw on something that you see advertised saying oh it's a panty dropper and it turns out to have the opposite effect because it turns out to be too much like, a lot of guys might go out there and buy Drac or Nar, and they might buy a lot of these scents that are powerhouses, thinking, this is going to help me because, you know, they see all these reviews on the internet, and it turns out to be too much. So you want to pick up and, like, cue somebody gives about scents. Like, if somebody really loves to smell you, and you're wearing a certain cologne, and you go on a date with them, that's what you wear, you know? And if you're going, like, to a party, too, I mean, there's other stuff that you can smell like you might want to have more of a fresh scent you may not want sweet scents so you know the gucci per um too is nice and the gucci by gucci is kind of a woody shipper but the gucci's do a good job they're kind of macho 
But then if you want freshness, you know, Lacoste and Armani and Hugo Boss, the Hugo Spray by Hugo Boss and Aqua Di Gio by Armani and Armani Code. And, you know, Burberry Brit is really good. You know, if you want to have something that's really nice. And, you know, another scent that's really good to wear during the night if you're in college is, you know, Mont Blanc Individual has a really nice smell, but Allure Pour Homme by Chanel is really good. Blue by Chanel is kind of more of a woodsy, aromatic, kind of macho smell. It's not as sweet and heavy as some of the other fragrances are. It's really a nice thing to wear. And, you know, if you want just guy scents, you don't like sweetness and fruit and all this unisex floral and all this stuff, then you might really like Dirty English by Juicy Couture. I mean, like in college, you definitely want to pick your style in college and just go through the colognes and, you know, you'll figure out what you like. But you want to buy, like go on some of these sites and order samples. Don't buy a big bottle of something that you don't know if it's going to work or not because you might end up stuck with something that you can't even wear anywhere or just doesn't work on you. So it's good to check and stuff. And, you know, if you're looking for other fresh scents too, you know, Rokaware 99, Unforgivable, and Usher, and, you know, Diesel fragrances all have this nice quality to them. And, you know, they really do a good job. You know, if you're looking for just a guy scent, you know, it's kind of aromatic and maybe a little bit fruity, those fragrances are good in that category. And, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit like a little more of a nighttime scent then you know i mean lots of fragrances that are older you know through the 90s you're going to have a lot of citrus stuff and nowadays they work on fougueres and the fragrances that are made back in the 80s tended to be more mossy powerhouses and they tended to be very very strong and the strength in the fragrance can really mess it up but if you truly want a really nice classic, Roca Man by Roca. Uh, Roca is a great Wormerand. It's a very rich kind of coffee smell. There is some mocha in this one. And, you know, it has a pretty good amount of amber. And it is sweet. You know, it's kind of an ambery oriental kind of fragrance. But it's actually a really well done one. And that's one thing that really works very well, like a charm. A lot of people absolutely love that fragrance. So, you know, that's basically the number one I would recommend. You know, if you truly want a good arsenal that will impress a lot of people, Roka's Man is really good. Gucci Envy. You know, Gucci by Gucci, Gucci Pour Homme 2, Gucci Pour Homme 1, all are really nice. And, you know, Burberry Brit. Burberry Touch and Burberry London are really nice, too. And, you know, with the Armani's, the Aqua Di Gio is going to be played very much. You're going to have a lot of people that have that one bottle, and they don't have any other fragrance. There's, like, nothing else they want to wear other than Aqua Di Gio and Polo Blue. So I would recommend, you know, looking, looking for other stuff. And, you know, if you smell some, if somebody smells good walking by, just ask them what cologne it is. And you might actually want to try that. I mean, that's the best way of knowing how a cologne smells is by actually smelling it in action. So, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.